617 now on the Money Watch. Many American retailers didn't pay the rent last month, and the jobs report out today could be historic. Jane King live in New York with the Friday Morning Business Report. Good morning, Jane. Yes, Margaret Ann. Hi, good morning to you. As we get uh, this jobs report, we've really been kind of dreading for months. Uh, we know it's going to be really ugly. Millions more Americans losing their jobs in May. So that is on top of the 20 million uh, that lost jobs in April. Economists believe the unemployment rate will come in near 20 percent. Now, we do think that is the peak of the COVID-19 recession. It would be the worst unemployment rate, though, since the Great Depression. And more than half of American retailers did not pay their rent in April and May. The real estate research firm Daytex Property Solutions says Bed Bath & Beyond, Famous Footwear, H&M, The Gap, Movie Theaters, 24-Hour Fitness, all miss payments that jeopardizes the stability of the property management companies and also city governments that rely on property taxes. And Olive Garden now has its own wine. For just $15 a bottle, you can order a Merlot blend, a white or a rosé. Olive Garden was bestowed with the honor of America's best casual dining wine list by the Monterey Wine Festival and the Wall Street Journal ranks its wine program top among 10 casual dining chains. Okay, stocks down yesterday ahead of the jobs numbers today. Tech companies were especially weak. Airlines soared yesterday. Now, today, ahead of this jobs report, which we expect to be the worst in what, uh, 80 years or so? Uh, we are looking positive with the Dow about 250 points higher today. So looks like investors looking beyond these numbers today into a recovery. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you, Margaret Ann. Yeah, that jobs report comes out around 8.30 this morning, right, Jane? 8.30 a.m., that's right. So 8.30 Eastern time, and uh, we'll get those numbers, and the market opens at 9.30, so we'll see the reaction. All right, thanks so much, Jane, and we'll have the latest on those okay. numbers coming up around 8.30 as well.